does work really well with the modern renaissance 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 i mean look at those what so there's your giant giant swatch to look at it hey guys welcome back so i got friday favorites and fooies for you today and it was another warm week like both in makeup and in weather in Texas. It's been ridiculously hot and I've been all about just those like warm sunset sort of eye looks, fiery kind of eye looks. So that's what I've been going for. So most of my favorites kind of are in that category, but then I also have some little random type things. So yeah, let's jump into it. For eyes this week, I was pretty much just playing with my Morphe 35F palette. I mentioned this last week that I had gotten it, really liked it, but it kind of got like pushed to the side for my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is like incredible. But honestly, this one and that one are like a match made in heaven because this one only has one row of mattes at the bottom, but that one has quite a few satins and mattes. So this has tons of shimmers in it. So they just like they go and they both have that sort of warm sunsetty sort of a theme to them. Oh my gosh, I just love them. So, okay, so what I love about this palette, I'm gonna have a whole review and mini tutorial on this palette and I pretty much filmed a very similar look to what I'm wearing and I used, I think it was this one right here, which is one of my very favorites in the whole palette. So it's a similar sort of eye look, it's that warm kind of, um, this is a little bit more coppery, but I did a very kind of cranberry eye look for that video, but I'll go into more depths about like, I'll show you swatches and talk more about the formula and stuff, but just know I love this top row. Like this is kind of the standout for me because it's so light and bright and metallic. Let me show you a couple because they're incredible. And then I'll show you this cranberry shade and Let's see, I'll, sh Ooh, I'll show you this like kind of orangey, well not orangey, but super yellow gold, borderline orangey. But these are that sort of um, texture, you know certain metallic shadows have that texture where it's not like sticky, but they're almost slightly tacky where they kind of build on themselves so they stick and not in a bad way though, but where they just really build on themselves. So it's super duper metallic and intense. So I love that about them. I mean, look at those. What? So gorgeous. And I really don't find that they crease. I mean, I always wear an eye primer, so I'm sure that that is a big part of it, but I don't know. I would think like if somebody says, has sort of a sticky, strange texture that builds on itself, I would think, oh, that's going to separate. That's going to you know, crease and just look bad, but I haven't found that. So yeah, I have been grabbing for this palette the whole week. It does work really well with the modern Renaissance, 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 Renaissance palette. <laughs> and I'm going to have that video on this palette, the 35F coming up soon. For cheeks this week, I wanted to mention this bronzer to you because while I did wear it as a bronzer and I'm wearing it as a bronzer today, a couple of days I just wore this as like my blush and bronzer together because if you kind of like swirl it towards the middle, there is a little bit more of like a blushy sort of a shade in there. So I don't know, I feel like it kind of works for that. This is a very warm toned bronzer. Well, I mean, when I look at it on my finger, it's really not super warm, but I feel like on my face, it looks pretty warm, but I like it for that reason. Like I feel like it's a very summery bronzer and I don't know, it just, you know, it has a warm bronze goddess sort of a look on your skin. I didn't even tell you what this is. This is the Laura Geller Baked Mediterranean Bronzer and this is in Moroccan Bronze. I got this as part of a set, the Mediterranean Journey set, but I think you can buy it by itself at this point. I hope so because I really do like it. It's kind of a satin is how I would describe it. It's not super duper shimmery at all, but it's not completely flat matte. So I would describe it as kind of a satin finish, but I love the packaging. I think the packaging is even like summery and beautiful. And then the design in it is so pretty. So I don't know, it just feels like special and like a, it does have that kind of Mediterranean, like vacation-y sort of a look to it. And I like that. Good old Benefit Rockateur. I broke this out this week. This is always a favorite of mine. I've mentioned it a million times on my channel, but I wore it this week and 
I wanted to mention it to you because I really was going pretty neutral with my blushes. I really wasn't doing anything super corally or pink or anything like that. It was mostly just kind of either a bronzy color, like that bronzer by itself, or this one. I did wear Warm Soul one day this week from MAC, which is really similar to this, and I love that one too. So Rockateur, like I said, I've mentioned this before. You've probably heard me talk about it and a lot of other people, but if you don't have this blush, I mean, this is one of my very favorites because it goes with everything. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a rosy, neutral sort of color. So a little bit of like a nude kind of a tone to it, but really pretty rosy. It's just so beautiful. A little bit mauve too. So it goes with everything. It gives your face color, just is very flattering, and it blends beautifully into the skin and wears really well and smells good. I can just go on and on. It's really good, and I think you need it. I wore this little City Color Highlighter Trio almost every single day this week, and I just love this. I'm wearing it today. I've got the middle color and then the more golden color on today. I actually didn't wear this one this week, um, I think because I was going for more of that like summery and warm sort of makeup look, but normally that would be the one that I would grab for more because I really love those kind of highlighter colors. Those sort of like slightly pinky toned ones, but these are so nice. I got this from, I think Ipsy, I think it was, but you can buy the full size, I believe, from City Color Cosmetics, and I love this. I think it's so good. And by themselves, the gold is really pretty golden, pretty yellowy gold by itself, and this one is pretty white by itself. But if you mix them together, which is what I was doing this week, which is how I have it today, it becomes this really pretty kind of like champagne, slightly golden sort of a um, highlighter color. So I really like those two combined more so than individually. But isn't that one pretty? Why didn't I wear that one this week? I don't know, but it's really pretty. I need to wear that one next. I just, I wish that they sold the little tiny size. I don't think they do. That'd be really cute if they did though, because I love, you know, I've said this before, I love little tiny makeup because it's cute to look at, perfect for travel, and it just makes me happy because it's cute and little. And this is super cute and little. I got a couple things from Octoly this week that I've been playing with, and I kept them in their packaging because I wanted to be able to show you, but I mean, let's be honest, most of my makeup lives in its packaging anyway, but I really especially wanted to show you this one. This is the Lip Smacker in Sunset Peach. It just makes me happy to look at it because it's so cute and with the little peaches all over it and it just like looks like summertime. So adorable. So Timothy always gets peach snow cones and this smells like a peach snow cone. Yeah, or, or even like just a straight up peach. But I instantly thought of the snow cones that he gets. So I've used it several times this week just as my regular lip balm. I've used it over lipsticks. I've used it under lipsticks. So it's just a great little lip balm. I mean, it's hydrating and it just smells amazing. And they have a lot of different flavors now or scents. Oh, this tastes good too. Tastes really good. So they have a lot of different scents now that I didn't even realize. I mean, they've got food, they've got fruit, they've got Disney themed things. So I didn't realize how many different ones they have now, but tons of options out there. And I love this one. I think it's a good one for summer. The other thing I got is the Besame Classic Color Lipstick. So the outside box just looks really fancy and pretty. I wore this out to dinner with Timothy one night this week, and I really liked this. I put it on maybe, I don't know, like five o'clock maybe, and wore it the rest of the night. It did, you know, obviously move when I ate, but it left behind a little bit of a stain, so I really liked that about it. And this is in Besame Red. I picked that color because I thought it was like, I don't know. This looks like, the outside packaging looks like it should have a red lipstick in it to me. Like it just looks very classic and fancy, so I like the packaging on it. And it's got a funny shape to it, like it's kind of a, square situation. This one's kind of more wonky on that side because I used it, but that's what it looks like. And it's just a beautiful red, like a gorgeous kind of um, cool toned raspberry-ish red. I mean, it's still, it's a red. It's definitely not a raspberry, but it's got that kind of cool tone quality to it. Really pretty. As it kind of wore down and 
stain my lips a little bit, it kind of had that more raspberry tone to it. So the stain was a little bit less red and a little bit more pinky, but it was really pretty. Like I was impressed with this and it smells good. Like it has, well, I'm just mainly smelling the peach now, but like MAC lipsticks. Yeah, it smells like vanilla. So I really like the scent of it. It was comfortable on the lips, basically like a cream lipstick, but it was really comfortable and just a beautiful red. I've been loving my Rimmel Kate nude lipsticks. I have a whole video on these if you haven't seen it yet where I swatch all the colors on my hand, on my lips, talk about my favorites. Just a little lip swatch parties if you wanna check that out. But last week I wore, I think it was 41, and then this week I was wearing 42, which for me is basically like just a really good nude. It's so pretty. These are so creamy and just a great lipstick formula. Like not crazy long wearing or anything like that. I mean, they're just a basic cream lipstick, but they're beautiful. They're not patchy. I don't know. I just, I love all the different colors. I love the packaging on them. I didn't really mention that in the video. I kind of totally forgot to mention that, but I love the packaging on them. I love that it. it's this really pretty, like, you know, classic Rimmel Kate sort of shape of the bullet. Like it looks the same as the others, except it's nude. Not all that complicated, not all that, you know, crazy and innovative, but I think it's really pretty looking and I like the packaging to it. So love the packaging, love the color selection, love the price, they're like $5 or so. So I think they're just great. And then what I have on my lips right now, Sephora came out with some new Rouge Matte lipsticks. So this is number M03. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll list it down below for you. So I just picked this one offline. I wasn't sure like what it was gonna look like in person, but I really, really like it. I probably have 10 other colors that look like this. Let's be honest, it's not like a super duper unique color. Looks like it'd be close to Maybelline's Touch of Spice, you know, something in that family, but I really like the formula of this. It honestly reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, a lot, a lot. Um, just a comfortable matte formula. Almost like I'm doing a ginormous swatch because I'm trying to like think about it as I'm swatching. So there's your giant, <laughs> giant swatch to look at it. But it's almost like silicone-y feeling or something. So I don't know, but on my lips, it's really comfortable. These wear really well. So I like them a lot. You know, they're around like 14 or so. No, are they? I think they're $12.50. $12.50 or so. So they're a little bit higher than drugstore prices. So I mean, the Maybelline Creamy Mattes are still my favorite because they're around $5.50 if you get them at Target or Walmart. But I really do like this one too. I like the packaging on it too. It's like that kind of rubbery NARS-ish sort of packaging, but it actually hasn't gotten super dirty yet, so that's nice, but I think it's pretty to look at on the outside of the packaging, and I think the lipstick inside is pretty. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week, so I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!